Thank you for choosing Intelnet. I'm Donald Grimmie in our technical support department. And in this Intelnet Tech Talk, we will discuss three key concepts to help you get the most out of your PoE products. These topics are the PoE handshake, PoE power budgets, both per port and total for the whole switch, PoE standards 802.3AF, AT, and 802.3BT, Type 3 and Type 4. We will also share some real-world examples of how to use these products to create an effective PoE network. So let's jump right in with our first topic, the PoE handshake. The PoE handshake is a simple conversation that asks how much power is needed by the device and how much power can be provided by the switch. Your security camera or other PoE device asks the switch for 15 watts. And if the switch has 15 watts available, it provides it to the device. If the connected device is non-PoE and doesn't need power, the switch will provide access to the network, but no PoE power. This PoE handshake ensures that it is completely safe to plug a non-PoE device like a laptop into your switch, and that your PoE device will always get the right amount of power. The PoE handshake takes place on all PoE extenders, injectors, or PoE switches, which makes it important to match the PoE standard on all of these devices, or ensure that the standard in use is reverse compatible. We'll dive deeper into PoE standards later in the series. Thank you for your time, and if you have any questions or topics you want to be covered in our next Tech Talk, please feel free to contact us by creating a ticket or on our live chat. Thank you for choosing Intelnet, and we look forward to working with you in the future.